brought to you by the Metropolitan Wilmington Urban League. Empowering communities. Take action. Make a difference. Oh, the A-Team are the legislators who are, have been partners along the years in trying to affect social justice. Representative Helene Keeley, Steph, Representative Stephen T. Bowler, Representative J.J. Johnson, and me in the Senate. And I'm sorry, I can't say the same about my Senate colleagues. I think they too are concerned about it, but they don't always work for the same issues that the four of us do. I think it's because of who we represent. We represent the urban areas. We represent the city and the county, but we're, we also represent low-income areas, and we're the ones who have all of the problems and the needs. So I think that's why you see us working collectively together to affect change. We're the team of legislators who really get the hard stuff done. I want to talk for a moment about Representative J.J. Johnson. You know about Ban the Box, but you also know that he recently removed shackles from teens who are going to court. This is the A-team. These are the people who represent you and who really are concerned about equality period. Equal justice for all people. And my buddy Stephanie T. Bolden here, she's, she's made us her mission concerned about children aging out of foster care and their rights being protected and seniors' rights being protected. And Helene has been my buddy in all the crimes that we've done. <laughs> <laughs> Relating to reducing, no seriously though, we have done the heavy lifting, we've talked about that recently. When there's any major legislation that's hard to do, oh give it to these two, they, they will work on it. But I want to thank all of my colleagues. Helene worked very, very hard on reducing the crimes for, for marijuana possession, which is a major reason why people are incarcerated, who don't need to be there quite frankly. So it's just been an honor to serve with these wonderful, wonderful legislators. And I want to tell, tell you that we have an awesome governor. This bill is very important because it sends a signal to those who have been incarcerated and served their time, welcome back. And you know, the, the, the ability to vote is at the very, it's at the bedrock of what our democracy is all about. And it is true that people ought to pay their debts, but they ought to be able to vote. It's just so important to who we are as a country. It's definitely an honor um, and a blessing to be uh, a part of history. It means a lot to me because I always, like, I, I sat in prison and I watched elections, you know what I'm saying, Obama's uh, uh, election and all that, and it was times where I was like, man, I wish I could I could vote for the man, or just vote for people that, that's in this very room that I done seen in the newspaper, you know what I'm saying, so it's, it's a good thing, and um, I just encourage everybody that that's coming home to um, take full advantage of it and go out there and vote and make a difference. I think this is a great day. I, I worked on this for the past probably 15 years with Hazel Plant and Representative Allo Plant, but we never could get enough votes to get it out and get it passed. But I thank God for the A-team here, Margaret, Stephanie, JJ, and Helene. And uh, I think the administration had no recourse but to go with it because they saw the House and the Senate now time to changing. And, and as I stated a few weeks ago, we need jobs, we need second chances, we need to stop punishing people for the rest of their lives. That's what's going on in this country today. And when we put people back to work with real substantive job programs that's going to pay people while they're being trained and take these restrictions off folks, you know, how can somebody have a $30,000 fine and $8 an hour job? How are you going to pay that? So it was designed to fail. But the day they lifted all that, and I'm proud of them. I really am.